You know, here at Attack of the Show, we hate to see a good movie franchise hop on the freeway to Suckville. And news coming out of the X-Men 3 camp seems to indicate that they've consulted MapQuest and have begun gassing up, unfortunately. Now, here's Chris Gore with more. Hello, my young ex-students. Professor Gore here. I'm appealing to you because we are facing a looming threat, an impending doom that will most certainly take one of the greatest comic book movie franchises of all time and drive it into the ground. I am speaking, of course, of director Brett Ratner. The production of X3 has been troubled since day one. I'm sure you've all heard about the false starts, Matthew Vaughn's infamous six-day script, his subsequent departure from the project, and now this. I ask you, Marvel Studios and 20th Century Fox, is this the man you want handling your successful and critically acclaimed series? I'm the go-to guy on the thing they know is just going to be a big hit anyway. Is this him talking about himself? Do you really want a guy who blatantly admits his mediocrity handling the classic Dark Phoenix saga? To Marvel, I say this. Your characters are not strong enough to overcome shoddy writing and directing. Come on, Hulk? Daredevil? Do we even need to bring up the Roger Corman Fantastic Four film? They need a real director, not this guy. I'm not Joel Schumacher, and I'm not, um, who did that third Superman? I'm Brett, and all I know is what I know, what I can do, and what I have to work with. Thanks, Brett. Remind us again how you couldn't get a Superman movie made, but now Brian Singer is. Go ahead, rub it in. Ratner will replace character with spectacle and love for the material with shock tactics and pandering. Jackie Chan says Brett Ratner is the luckiest guy in the world, and I feel like I am. Oh, I see. Jackie Chan says you're lucky. Well then, I'm sold! And Ratner refers to himself in the third person. Uh, can he be any more grating? I wish I had the mutant power to go deaf at will. I think it's elevated. I think the script that Simon Kimberg and Zach Penn wrote gives me a tremendous amount of confidence. Oh really? Maybe you forgot that Kimberg wrote Triple X, State of the Union, and Penn wrote Elektra, which combined grossed less than Spider-Man's catering budget. What the hell has you so excited? So we beg you, Fox and Marvel, to forget about having a pissing match with Warner Brothers and take your time. Do X3 right. Don't rush it with no script, a hack director, and Kelsey Grammer in a blue bear suit? It will suck, and your fans will resent you for it. We'd rather have no X3 than bad X3. And to the fans, I say keep up the good fight. Thank you, and good night. Wow. How does he really feel? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I know how Brett feels about your chair, apparently. That's not right. <laughs> no. No, it's That's, not at all. Uh, how do you feel about Brett? You know, we've heard the rumors. I know. This I is know. this is. I mean, we're this is some pretty damaging evidence. Chris here that has we've seen. A, an incredibly compelling argument. Like just just off that alone, I think I'm right. I'm, I'm 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 with him. I'm with him. Per I support his perhaps, cause. Perhaps, perhaps Brett could come onto the show with a rebuttal. Oh, Brett, that'd be good. if you're watching, yeah. we'd love to have you. Right here, you actually. You know, everybody. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Right here, right here. Mm -hmm. it's comfy. Just don't scratch yourself. Yeah, please don't. You and don't. don't the cigarette, I don't know if he's blowing kisses or smoking chain smoking, <laughs> but don't do that either. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, let's have a war.